Dickey, the road to the championships become a little less crowded, but there still isn't enough room for both of these teams. Which team will become a casualty of the second round in this game between the Georgetown Hoyas and the Dayton Flyers? And of course, here's our starting lineup. Mr. Nestler, I like the two big men at the power forward position. Two of the more highly skilled players on the court. Definitely a matchup we want to pay attention to. All ten players are set, and now for the tip. The Flyers with the tip, and they spring into striking distance. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Turnaround jumper. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Ten on the shot clock. Work it around the arc. Trying to beat the buzzer. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Running that Princeton offense here. It's a quick hitting offense that can be difficult to defend. The back cuts, the high post action, the screening. When these things are done well, look out. On the right side. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. And now they'll bring it up. alley -oop. goes up for two. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. The Hoyas have improved quite a bit over the last few weeks. Hey, Brad, that stems from quality practices and a level of commitment from the team. Based on my experiences, teams that have improved have done those two things. Coach giving instructions from the sideline. Buries it. Let's go back and take a look at this one again, Dick. Hey, now that's taking it strong to the hoop. Look at him throw it down. Up and inside. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. We approach 10 seconds now on the shot clock. For two. Off the glass and no good. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. The Hoyas can't afford to have him pick up too many more fouls. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. the perimeter from the corner the missed shot on the left side a 
on the dribble gives it up. Ball down low puts it on the floor to route fade away. Nope. As we continue to track the game's tempo. We've seen a combination of both short and long possessions here Brad. Nothing wrong with that if that's your team's ideal style of play. He fakes the shot. Jumper off the mark. Around eight minutes remaining. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Not there. Number 10 receives the pass. Cross court. up for two. He gets the shot to fall. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the outside. Unloads a three. Nails a sweet jumper. About seven minutes remaining on the game clock. We're going to move it around the perimeter. For two. Knocks it down. The young man cut back door and the pass was right on time. Terrific pass. That's great timing. Put the defense sleeping. A great back door pass. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Who wants it? And he saves it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number 30 picks up the foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits a foul instead. Great play there, Brian. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Number 33 goes to the line for the first time. He misses the first. the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. Nice shot. This guy can really score in a variety of ways down on the low block. Dick. I'll tell you, he's definitely what I would call a complete post. He can do many different things and really puts pressure on the defense. They work it around the perimeter. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. This young guy's not the greatest from the charity stripe. Let's see how he makes out. Well, you know, he's got to get into a routine. It's about routine and repetition, Brad. There's a reason they're called free throws. The small forward gets the pass. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. They get that rejected. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Step to the line for the free throw. It's that one.
Takes those free throws, can. Wants to go back on that campus. Says BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. On the right side. Inside. Tries for two. Drains the shot. Five minutes left in the game clock. Looking for a good shot. From the top of the key. Can't connect. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He drains the shot. Nice look on that backdoor pass, Dick. You know, Brad, as a coach, you teach your players to read the defender. And when he's not looking, deliver the pass. Side. He unloads a three. Jumper won't go. We're at the four minute mark. Gave it up. He shoots from the deep corner. And come up short. The point guard with the ball. Stolen away. Number one slowly performance has just gotten in his head. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. the perimeter about three minutes remaining about ten seconds left in the shot clock can he beat the buzzer that's an ill-advised shot I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot out on the wing on the dribble gives it up he shoots the jumper. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. For two, he shows the sweet touch. He can put points up, and he can move the ball. What's great about him is his ability to pass and score. It's a skill that not enough guards have. As a coach, you love having this type of player on your roster. Work it around the perimeter. Two minutes left on the game clock. Kicks it out. He goes up with it. Excellent jump shot right there. Great ball movement right there, Dick. Hey, when each player on offense touches the ball on the perimeter, it forces the defense to move. Eventually, the defense will break down. Number 41 handles the feed. Now trying to feed the low block. He attempts the jump shot. Can't connect from in close.
Cross court. Ten to shoot now. We're at the one minute mark. Out on the wing. The fake. He shoots from the corner. And score it. For the bucket, he gets it to fall. Working it around the perimeter. And it's knocked loose. Timeout call. We'll get back to the action right after this. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. From three-point territory. Jumping in looked pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. He got it off in time. Nope. At halftime, the Hoyas are up by 12. Georgetown shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Looks like they're going to go with a full court man to man press, Dick. Look at that space. He puts up the J. Missed it. Gave it up. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. They'll work it around the arc. Puts it up. Can't get the shot to go. Up and inside. Puts up the J. Nope. Goes up for two. Off the glass. The small forward gets the pass. He wants it. He's asking for it on the low block, and they don't get it to him. Tries for two. He buries it. A great drive to the hoop right there, Dick. That's a great job, Brad. Using his athleticism to get to the hoop and convert. The Hoyas.
Warriors lead as we go to the timeout. Stay tuned for more NCAA action right after this. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. He goes up with a jumper. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. And that guy had 1,400 on his board. I look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. About 10 seconds left in the shot clock. He pump fakes for the deuce. Nails the J. Loose ball and bat it in. Out of bounds, and we're staying right here. The point guard gets the pass. Number 30 is charged with the foul. I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Now, seniors are important because they bring so much to the team. Leadership, motivation, and a sense of accountability. It's their last year, so you know they want to make it a memorable one. mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. They look to get it to the inside. In the lane. They got it. A great backdoor pass right there, Dick. Great delivery on that back cut. He just hit him at the right time. You can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from outside. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for. Dick. That I can guarantee you that he's not the guy. They weren't shooting the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle. 
Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Down in the low block, try to work inside. Off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. He launches a three. The missed shot. Looking for a good shot. He unloads. Scorches the net with a J. About seven minutes remaining. From the top of the key, nails the jumper. the outside ten seconds he goes with a baby hook and come up short gave it up puts it on the floor and up and under he misses the J about six minutes remaining Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, scorches the net. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. That's good. the jumper on the dribble gives it up he shoots from the deep corner can't get it to go for a screen here. Hey, whether it ends up in a roll or fade, it's well-executed two-man game. It's always a treat to watch. Picks it out of the air. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. He shoots from the corner. Excellent jump shot right there. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. He drains the shot. Side. They work it around the perimeter. He takes the three. Gets the J to fall. On 
the outside. We're at the three minute mark. Number 32 gets the ball. Trying to feed inside. He pulls up with a jumper. Nails a sweet jumper. Defensive transition's been very good. For two, with a layup. Great strength on that drive. I tell you, he was fearless right there. Did a great job taking it to the rack. And some great concentration to finish strong. They work the perimeter. Loose ball save. The Hoyas have been getting it done with a number of players here, Dick. When you have guys that want to win, you're going to get different players stepping up in different ways. When it's about the W, individual numbers aren't important. Cross court. Goes up with it. Scores it. They're going to need a miracle to get a victory in this one now. It's hard to believe that this game started off tied 0 0. For the bucket. Rims out. Tries for two. The layup is good. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He gets out of the double. Hey, poor execution in a double team, Brad. These boys were taught better. Way out on the right wing. He shoots from a deep corner. Can't connect. Can they eventually get it going from behind the arc, you think? If they stop forcing him, sure. Working it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Great trap. They managed to keep the defender in check. Great job of containing the man there, Brad. Look at that spacing. For three. He misses the J. Pushes it up for two. Was that beautiful or what? He goes for three. Nails the sweet jumper. He looks for the bomb. He can't get the hoop to fall. That concludes the program. The first two rounds were exciting, but the final promises to be the best game yet. Make sure you join us as we watch and see who'll leave this tournament as champion. So long for now. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Let's check in right now, Dick, and look at our players of the game. I tell you, they were both great here today, Brad. Both ends of the court, a real treat to watch.